It says, we all have that voice in our head telling us to kill. Some people uh, just have it louder than others. Oh, wow. Do we, we do? Yeah. We Turn down the volume, <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> You're just not listening. <laughs> well, Gina's grad school. She's into a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Very curious about everything. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I mean, she's certainly not uh, unique in the fact that she is way into all this, like, real crime. No, but, like, the weirder and darker, the podcast, better. Podcasts, TV shows, datelines, yeah. all that stuff. The, all the documentaries. Yeah. Soothing for you. Yeah. I just like to know about it. And yeah. I'd like to, and I, I, not only do I want to protect myself, I want to protect you because yeah. I care about all of you. Have you ever had that wonderment that I always have when you're at the grocery store? You think, I wonder if I've ever been next to a serial killer. We're going to get into that, Greg. Really? Oh, yeah. yes, we yes. are. Yeah, so we figure if there was any week for this particular topic of Gina's grad school, serial killers, it would be, it would be today, it'd be today. this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Gina's grad school serial killers. Let's learn more. Gina, what do you got for us? Well, first, let's define what exactly a serial killer is. Now, some may say this is a fairly loose definition, but as the FBI defines serial murder, it's a series of two or more murders committed by one person, usually as separate events. Serial murder is a rare event. It only makes up, it's less than 1% of of all murders in a given year. So very unlikely you will be a victim, but we will get into that and how you can protect yourself. You might be wondering, what are some common traits of a serial killer? Any guesses? Uh, Um, Psychopathy. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Um, Loners. Okay. I would think like charismatic. Charismatic animal killers. Very interesting. Well, there's something called the McDonald triad that a lot of people use to link serial killers with some of their problems. This dude, uh, in 1963, J.M. McDonald, he's a psychiatrist, he said they likely are cruel to animals. Mm -hmm. They are obsessed with starting fires. Hmm. And they're persistent bedwetters after the age of five. Really? Apparently mm. so. This huh. leads to a lot of violent behaviors, particularly homicidal behavior. But is that because, like, from embarrassment? Or, like, what, what, what does the bedwetting yeah. have to do they, with anything? They just linked it as maybe, I don't know, having yeah. uh, some sort Somehow of a nervous... Connected. Yeah, I don't mm. know. Like, their whole life, they continue? They become... They, they, they stay bedwetters after five years old. Wow. Now, wow. some losers. experts don't notice it, and they go on a killing spree when you call them a loser. <laughs> I went to bed until I was seven. I'm like, yeah. good, though, right? Because I stopped uh, then. Nope. Do you, do you love old, setting so fires? Seven years old? Uh, yeah, I was still wearing pull-ups to bed through, like, second grade. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's embarrassing. Uh, yeah. Can I switch seats? <laughs> <laughs> That's a stab. I would be so ashamed. Yeah. Now, some people don't put as much stock in this McDonald triad. They, they do rely on profiles that say... Serial killers lack empathy. They're often pathological liars. They disregard right and wrong, have a sense of superiority, and no remorse for doing bad things, which I think we can all agree on. Yeah, that all seems somewhat obvious. Also seems like a lot of criminals just in general. They're all in prison now. I think they have a lot in common. The United States has the most documented serial killers in the world. Any guesses as of 2020 how many total documented serial killers we've had? Oh, in our history, like in in the United States, in history, uh, two thousand. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I was gonna say not as many. Okay. Because I think it. I think people think it's more common than it is. I'll say two hundred. All right. Yeah, I'll go. That makes sense. Two hundred. Two hundred. I say a thousand. You guys are living in a fantasy world. What is this? A utopia? Three thousand six hundred and thirteen. Wow. Okay. Documented serial killers. But how many do you have to kill to be considered? Two or more. Well, as the FBI said, two or more. Thankfully, we don't have nearly as many as we used to. The number of serial killers in the U.S. was the highest from 1970 to 1990. And those numbers peaked hard in the 70s. Nearly 300 active serial killers in the U.S. that we knew about. That's when it was so trendy. It was. Yeah, it, it was had, so trendy. hot right now. You had Son of Sam. That's right. Zodiac. Zodiac. I, I kind of feel Night like Stalker. that's what happened with these mass shooters. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I want like, to be yeah, Colin, Columbine. Columbine really seemed to like start it. Yes. Yeah. Not that people hadn't shot up at school before, but yeah. it became after Columbine, thing. it seemed to be more of a regular thing. Like yeah. we maybe we're going through our school shooter phase. I, mm-hmm. Like we went through a serial yeah. killer yeah. phase. I think you're on to something. And now maybe are we into a serial killer drought? Not that they don't happen, but not nearly as many as the yes, 70s. And, and there is a very good reason for that because... By the time the 2010s rolled around, there are fewer than 50 
known active killers. Mm. And there's very good reason for that, thanks to forensic science and policing and technology. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, you know, make them a little harder to escape justice. Though I don't really want to name any of these guys specifically because they're they're douches, and I want to glorify their douchey existence. There is a quote. Well, we heard a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. we we There's know. There's a number of names that we know. Yeah, and, and just think about those guys. But there is a quote that will ring in your head, whether you want to hear it or not, by this dude named Ed Kemper, a.k.a. the co-ed killer, who said this about his victims. One side of me says, I'd like to talk to her, date her. The other side of me says, I wonder what her head would look like on a stick. Freaky. Okay, terrific. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he was convicted. You should put that on a pillow. Yeah, <laughs> it did. Stencil that mm -hmm. on a doily. He was convicted of eight murders and uh, is currently uh, serving life without parole at a California medical facility. Oh, now, good. Now, you think this might only be men, but I think we know better these days. Sisters are doing it for themselves. I mean, whether there was the show Snapped. Snapped. Uh, you know, do you like that show? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Obviously, you don't push abroad that far. Yeah, but she'll come after you. I mean, that's like a one-off killing. But how many like female serial killers? I'm glad you asked. There was that truck stop chick. I was Eileen I Warner. Uh, yes. Yeah. She was executed. She was on there. Only 10 percent of total murders in the U.S. are uh, committed by women. But watch out for who cares for you, because. 39% of female serial killers are nurses or healthcare workers. Weird. What are they called? The, uh, the uh, Black Widow. The Black Widow. The Yeah, when you're... Um, nightingale. Like, that, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. You yeah. get a little extra mm. shot of air in your, uh, in your injection. Right. That was yeah. Kathy Bates in Misery. She, right. With all the kids. You're stuff. a dirty mm. birdie. You're right. <laughs> As for which states have the most serial killer victims, the big three, Florida with 933... Jeez. Texas, 984, and California with a whopping 1,777. We got a text here from the 714. My first boyfriend and my first kiss became a serial killer. <gasps> what? Oh, sweet. Hi. I would love to talk to you. I would love wow. to do a long-form interview with you. I'm going to write back. Who was it? Please. Uh, right. Speaking of California, like we talked about the Zodiac Killer, most notorious as technically he was never found. Right. We know this, right? Now, he terrorized people in the Bay Area in the late 60s in California, but while police su suspect it was a guy named Arthur Lee Allen, they were never able to cobble together enough evidence to actually arrest him. So technically, we do not know who the Zodiac Killer was. They always try to link the Unabomber as well because he was around the same time. Oh, interesting. Because he was into mathematics and yeah, then the way... Tortured in college. Yeah. All right, so a black widow is a woman who kills her spouse. Healthcare workers who are killers are called angels of death. That's mm. the one. Uh, Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, 714. There's a new uh, Zodiac documentary on yes. Netflix. Yep. Which, if you watch it, mm -hmm. you think... That dude is the Zodiac, yeah, for sure. Him. But then you question, where were the hell were these kids uh, 35, 40 years ago? Why didn't they say any of this crap? Yeah, now mm -hmm. they're coming out about yeah. it. That's wonderful. The text here says, we all have that voice in our head telling us to kill. Some people uh -huh. just have it louder than others. Oh, wow. Do we, we do? Yeah. We Turn down the volume, <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> You're just not listening. <laughs> you're just not listening. Wow. No, I guess yeah. telling. Yeah. So if you think you're safe, according to the stats, and Greg, you alluded to this earlier, I wanted to answer this question for you. According to stats from the New York Post, it has been said that the average person can unknowingly walk past 36 murderers in their lifetime. Oh, my God. Huh. Um, I Brush went to high school. That seems low. Yeah. You can think of all the people that you walk past. Yeah. I but mean, you're yeah, at the I mean, they're not all in. You're at a yeah, ball game. It's been a concert city. or yeah. what, you're around yeah. so many people. Thousands, not the people you necessarily thousands. interact with. Yeah. So you but just people that you've is low. That you've walked by? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You've shared a space with? Mm, yes. I guess, I guess yep. that sounds low. I mean, think about it again. Okay, but, all these large uh -huh. things that you've been to, like events, concerts, well, let's sporting take, events. Let's do the bell curve. You know, you're not a loner, but you're not at a festival every weekend. Yeah. You know, just no. like on a day to day basis. But I wonder how many we've spoken yeah. to. Yeah. yeah. Like how many people do you cross with. with at the grocery store? That's true. Or like waiting in line at the DMV. Melons. Yeah. Uh, now I'm even more scared. Yes. Now, I really want to protect you guys because this is something that I think that would be just tragic if any of you died by the hands of a serial killer. So try to stick to these safety tips uh, and, and get your best chance going at survival. According to Snopes and She Knows and WikiHow, I compiled this list and I want to make sure that everybody's safe beware of needy strangers as killers often prey on people's sympathy to get them to drop their guard we all saw I'm you safe. know silence 
The oh, Silence yeah. of the Lambs. Don't help me you, with my couch. Yeah, help yeah. me with my couch. Oh. Don't do it. Don't mm. get in the van. Yep. You don't want to be the one on the inside of the van. <laughs> right. uh, trust your gut instinct. If someone gives you the creeps, don't engage with them. And if you're entering a situation that feels like it could go horribly wrong, leave. We're the only species on the planet that ignores our instincts. Stop doing that. Never let a stranger or strange person into your home. People come to your door. They say they're a service person. You're not expecting them. Call yeah. the company. Yeah. Verify who they are. Yeah, there was just uh, yeah. some old couple who just got, uh, well, the guy got killed. The wife was, like, uh, tied up and Ugh. and everything else. And they said they were utility workers. Yeah, yes, that's what exactly. To, uh, Horrifying. My yep. buddy's ex-wife, um, a guy that just got out of prison, like, a month Ugh. before. Pretended to be a yeah. utility worker. Yeah. Well, and even with cops, ask for their badge number, call the police. You, you know, I'm very trusting, but I wouldn't do that. Now, avoid giving personal information to strangers. This is very hard these days with social media, but you're going to want to put a lot of these profiles on private. Don't post where you are or where you will be at a specific time. Duh. If you go online dating... Don't give out your home or work address without having met them a few times. And you know what dudes love to do? Because I remember this from my online dating days. Let's take this chat off the site and uh, give me your number and I'll pick you up. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. Thank you, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, thanks. <laughs> this is something that I've always done and I highly recommend it. Consider carrying pepper spray and maybe taking a self-defense class. You could spray that stuff so easily, but do make sure it's turned the right way because people uh, do mace themselves. Yeah. And finally, use your strongest body part to counter the attack. Elbows, head, knees, get them in the groin, get them in the eyes, get them in the knees. Stay safe, everybody. Happy Halloween. All right, there you go. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Gina Grad, everybody, in Gina's grad school on hope, serial killers. Hope we learned something today. Now I'm obsessing. <laughs> you know what this is? It's a baby laugh. What? Like slowed down, obviously. Yeah. Like pitched down. I hate this. <laughs> like, but, but when you know what it is, yeah. yeah. Somebody said the person that said that their uh, their first boyfriend, their first kiss, ended up being a ser- serial killer. Asked, well, yeah. who was it? Skyler De Leon. All right, De Leon. De Leon. Skyler. So the most Skyler. Like is so not a serial. Allegedly, killer, right? the most notorious one is Samuel Little from Ohio, who's mm-hmm. supposed to be the number one in America, but. Um, he said that he's murdered 93 people, but they can only verify 50. So yeah. he's not listed as number one. 